Hi folks, and welcome to the first market wrap of 2020. And the year has started off like it finished in 2019 with a really strong and solid market right across the Ballerine Peninsula. The price is now back to where they were at the peak of the market at the end of 2018. So if we look at Bowen Heads, median house price just sitting under a million dollars at 996,000. Ocean Grove, 690,000. Drysdale performing well at 590,000. Reported last year, one of the best performing suburbs during the lull in the market was Port Arlington. That's continued to be the case. It's median house price right now, 640,000. Did not see a drop throughout the whole of 2019 and slowly rised throughout the year, which was quite extraordinary. Folks, late last year, we introduced open negotiation to the Ballerine Peninsula and through our company, a new sale method that's just really gaining some traction. It's been around for a few years, but it's been incredibly well received from the buyers and also the sellers in the market across the Ballerine Peninsula. So we've launched quite a few campaigns, reduced the days on market for those owners, and also every single campaign that we've taken to the market has received offers, which is quite encouraging as an owner to sit there and have an offer to say yes or no to. Every single property that we've brought to the market with open negotiation has sold bar one. So being really well received, buyers love the open and transparency of it. Vendors love that they may be sold in two, three, four, five weeks and look out, it is the sale method of the future. Folks, some interesting statistics coming out of Property Investment Magazine in January. Bowen Heads has seen 7.7% growth per year over the last 10 years, with 44% growth in the last five years. If you look at Ocean Grove, that's seen 6% growth each year over the last 10 years. But again, number one performing suburb on the Ballerine Peninsula goes to Port Arlington, 7% growth each year, but listen to this, in the last five years, 55% growth in that marketplace, and it has no signs of showing down, really performing well. Some of the more exciting campaigns or ones of note that have come to the market in January, I'm here at 29 Car Street in Bowen Heads. Incredible home, backing onto the park, been running expressions of interest campaign, which closes in the coming days with some really good interest. We've just brought two townhouses to the market off the plan at 11 The Terrace. Really great spot, close to the Bowls Club, the beach, the river, high-end quality, and another one that's gained incredible traction in Drysdale with two parties offering already is 39 Caroline Drive, Lee and Ange, looking like they'll wrap that up in the next couple of days under some competition. So some of the properties that are sold of note, couple of campaigns, both sold with open negotiation. 58 to 60 Tower Road in Port Arlington. Lee and Ange had a starting bid of 650 on that one, ended up selling for $915,000 with three bidders, $60,000 over the reserve. Open negotiation really doing its job by bringing two buyers, really competing for it and taking it above the reserve. 69 Aldebaran Road, Trent and Toby, brilliant campaign there, three bidders through open negotiation as well. Wrapping that up two weeks before the campaign was due to end at about 682,000. And then if we look in Bowen Heads, just in the last week, 83 Car Street, double block, been sold to an investor uh, with 15 days on the market for 1.6 million. So folks, 2020 has started really strongly, real positivity in the marketplace across not only this area, but also Victoria and the Eastern Seaboard. I think we're gonna see that continue up until Easter. Buyers, there is a lot of choice in the market, so we are still seeing a price sensitive market. The properties that are presented well and priced well are the ones that are gaining the best traction in the marketplace and selling in a really good time frame. Folks, thanks so much. I'll see you next month.